the user interface of the scope block has been updated to improve how you view and debug signal data. For example, you can now control your simulation from within the scope window itself so that you can stay focused on the simulation data when pausing, rewinding, or stepping through a simulation. Triggers are available for repeating signals that you want to lock down for viewing during the simulation. You can also freeze the display at any point during the simulation. You can add cursors to the scope so that you can trace through a signal or compute the difference between the value of a signal at two different points in time. The axes for the scope can be automatically scaled so that the entire range of simulation data is always in view. You can also specify the upper and lower limit ranges so that signals are contained within a certain border around the axes. If you have additional products, such as the DSP System Toolbox or Simscape, you have access to more signal measurements, such as the rise time and frequency of a signal. And you can hide the side panels, menus, and toolbars if you want a minimalist view to see only your simulation data.